Hello and welcome to this tutorial on materials in V-Ray for Revit. In this video, we'll be showcasing the essential steps when applying materials to your scene, demonstrating how to apply V-Ray materials to your Revit designs, and reviewing some of their basic parameters. Since the V-Ray materials will not be displayed in the Revit viewport, we'll use interactive rendering to preview them. This will help us track all material changes in real time. Working with materials in V-Ray for Revit requires familiarity with a couple of UI components. The Asset Editor is where we can create or edit V-Ray assets, including materials, and the Appearance Manager displays a list of all materials available in the Revit project and allows us to replace them with the V-Ray ones. The replacements take place only at V-Ray render time, keeping the Revit model completely unaltered. To replace a Revit material with a V-Ray material, we can either browse the list to find it or take advantage of the Pick Material tool. Pick a surface and its corresponding material will automatically appear in the list. Bear in mind that this tool works only with project materials, so linked files materials need to be searched for or browsed. We are now ready to associate a Revit material with a V-Ray material. While V-Ray materials could be created from scratch using the Asset Editor's Toolkit, it's quicker and easier to use ready-to-render materials from the Chaos Cosmos library. Open the Cosmos browser and navigate to the Materials category. Choose a material you like, click Download, and once the download is complete, click Import. The V-Ray Asset Editor opens up automatically, and the imported material is displayed in the Material category outliner. In this list, we can view and manage all V-Ray assets that are currently saved to our Revit project file. The same list appears in the drop-down menu next to each material in the Appearance Manager, allowing us to associate both items. However, a much easier alternative is to drag and drop the V-Ray material over the respective material slot in the Appearance Manager, like that. At the bottom of the panel, you can change the texture size as well as rotation and offset. Let's replace another Revit material. This time, we'll import the Cosmos material with the Triplanar Mapping option enabled. This allows textures to be projected on the X, Y, and Z axis of objects that don't have suitable UV coordinates. Be aware that all Cosmos materials are ready to use and require no additional setup to achieve a high quality look. However, you can customize them with many advanced material workflows that V-Ray offers. Let's see how that works. First, we need to expand the right flyout menu, then navigate to the parameter or texture which we want to modify. In our case, we'll find the UVW placement utility which controls the texture repetition and randomization and can change the texture tiling values. This is another way to control the texture scale. Click on the back arrow to return to the main material parameters. Now, we'll adjust the overall color of our material. Right-click on the diffuse texture slot and select to wrap the current texture into color correction. As its name suggests, this utility allows us to apply various color corrections such as hue, saturation, and tint directly to the diffuse texture, providing us with full control of the final visual result. Finally, we'll look at how to create a glass material from scratch. For this, we'll first pick the Revit glass material. Then, we'll create a new V-Ray material in the Asset Editor. You'll notice that various material types are available for creation, with the generic material being the most universal, whereas the rest of the materials are applicable in specific situations. After renaming our new material, we'll associate it with the Revit one. Creating glass is simple. First, we need to set the diffuse color to black. Then, to make the glass reflective, we need to adjust the reflection color. The whiter the color, the more reflective the material will be. Following the same principle, we need to set the refraction color, which will define how transparent our glass will be. Now that we know the basics, we can shade almost anything in a quick and easy manner. 
Thanks for watching. Please check out our other videos on getting started with V-Ray for Revit and how to use it to light your scene.